Hi, Sarah Masha here at the Historical Society. And because this week we're celebrating St. Patrick's Day, I decided to look back a little bit at some of the Irish Americans that lived here in the communities of Terrytown and Sleepy Hollow. And basically what I found was a lot of newspapers, a lot of photographs, a lot of books and other things about the Irish Americans in the community. Um, and some of that history starts um, in the 19th century. Even before the potato famine got really bad, starting in the um, 1820s and 30s, Irish uh, immigrants started to come here, especially to New York. Um, and by the 1850s, there was just a mass immigration trying to leave because of the potato famine. But here in the community, between 1837 and 1842, um, their construction of the large Old Croton Aqueduct. The Croton Aqueduct bringing water to New York City all the way from Croton was a massive engineering undertaking that required lots and lots of immigrant labor. And many of them were Irish. Um, and those individuals, several of them, stayed in the community and brought other family members here as time went on. So in the areas that they settled, mainly the first uh, Irish sort of neighborhoods were in North Tarrytown around Clinton and Cedar Streets. Um, and in Tarrytown, a lot of uh, Irish settled in the Pennybridge area. So they sort of started to create a larger community. And by 1862, they had established in Tarrytown the Ancient Order of Hibernians Benevolent Society. Um, and they actually met on Main Street. Um, and um, in 1862, at their first inaugural meeting, they met basically to arrange to celebrate the 17th of March. So as time goes on, um, more and more Irish families move into the area and become extremely influential, um, especially in the village of what became North Tarrytown. In 1874, when the village incorporated, actually several members of the Irish community were responsible for the incorporation of the village um, as North Tarrytown. And some of those families include the Sinnets, the Murphys, the Hughes. As a matter of fact, um, George Sinnott um, became one of the first trustees in North Tarrytown. So as the ancient order of the Hibernians continued to celebrate um, the 17th of March, they basically uh, had what was a dinner and a dance. Uh, many of them were often at St. Teresa's Church on Beekman Avenue. Um, as time went on, by the late 1970s, the ancient order of the Hibernians also sponsored the Irish Cultural Day for many years. Um, and then, of course, we have the parade that we have today. Um, and the first parade was actually in 1997. Um, we have a couple of parade booklets here um, celebrating the, the second and third annual St. Patrick's Day Parade in Sleepy Hollow. So uh, perhaps if you're out this year, you may be able to celebrate St. Patrick's Day and next year as well um, in Sleepy Hollow in Tarrytown at one of the bars. So um, we hope you have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.